today is another weekend where we get the time off to go take the van somewhere and this time we're gonna take it back to the waterfalls that I tried to take you guys to last time but it ended up pouring rain so we're gonna get into the van do that hour-long drive and it is a sunny and beautiful day out in Auckland today so I think we're gonna have good weather for this hike and we're gonna be able to see those falls finally yay First stop before the waterfalls, we're going to be heading to this shopping place called Pack and Save. We heard that it's much cheaper than like Countdown or New World Metro that's here. Um, it is a little bit further from where we live, so we can't go without our van. But we're going to go check it out and see how good the prices are, grab some things for us to eat for the weekend and some stuff to drink. <laughs> so yeah, we'll let you guys know how the prices are when we get there. came from inside Pack and Save, which is like the superstore that I shot uh, the sign up for you guys. It's actually really cheap in there, much cheaper than it is in Countdown or New World Metro, which is in the CBD of Auckland. Uh, you can find like a kilogram of chicken there for $8.99 and in Countdown it was $12, which you shave already like $3 on chicken and all the other stuff. There's such cheaper prices for everything else in there too. So we're going to start doing our grocery shopping there every week, which is going to be nice. But now we have to take a little detour before we head over to the Waitiki Ranges National Park because our oil light came on in our car and we don't want to risk it driving up all those hills in this old van we just want to make sure that we're not going to wreck the engine doing it because we bought this van for such a good deal we want it to last us the whole time while we're in Auckland and we also want to sell it when we're finished so we're going to go get that checked out at Midas quickly which is about a 10 minute drive from here and then we'll see what happens there hopefully they can fix it right away and we can still head out to the parks today the van all fixed and we actually got a full service done as well so they checked everything else for us it costs about 138 New Zealand dollars in total, but now I think we're going to be good for the next four or five months before we decide to leave Auckland and go on our big, big road trip, which is really nice. We went to this place called uh, Cartronics, and actually if you guys go into the area where we went, if you're looking to get any service done on your car, it's at Wanhunga, the area, and on Selwyn Street. There's a lot of uh, car places and mechanics all along that road because I mean we were gonna go to Midas but it looked pretty busy so we went next to it and then those guys were able to help us out right away. So yeah now we have our car all serviced and we're ready to go hit the Waitiki Ranges National Park. <laughs> little walk that we're doing is to the Naiha Tupu Reservoir Dam. I think that's what it was called. I took a shot of the sign for you guys. But apparently it's supposed to be a beautiful dam walk. It's about 40 minutes so it's not too bad at all. It's uh, pretty cool. It was a nice walk towards here, very calming all through the rainforest. I really suggest it if you guys are looking for like an easy walk. It's only like 40 minutes, so it's not that bad at all. It's not like the longer trails here. The longest trail in the Waitiki Ranges National Regional Park is Hillary, and it's actually four days long. But there's a lot of little other trails like this one that we did, and then we're going to be doing the other one to Kite Kite Falls in a second. So yeah, but you see like waterfalls here and a lot of rainforest and it's really beautiful. Right there, that's called Lion's Rock. It's what I showed you guys last time when we came here, but it was pouring rain and now there's no rain, so it's really nice. And there's still daylight for us to see the kite, the kite kite falls. Hey. hey we made it to kite kite falls and we're gonna go see it. It's not raining now, which is great. There's still daylight out, but it is a little bit chilly, which is why put my hat and a sweater on. It's not as nice as it was earlier, but I'm excited to see the waterfall. Behind me is Kite Kite Falls. They are pretty big and they look really beautiful. It also is kind of a 
uphill walk all the way up here, but it's still a beautiful walk to get here. It takes about 30 minutes, and then you'll be able to see the beautiful waterfall. This is one beautiful waterfall. Again, it's called Tight Tight for you guys, and the water is so blue. You can actually swim in here when it's warming out, but it's really cold right now, so we're not gonna test that at all, but oh, it's amazing. The rock that we came to last time, I think the sunset is even more beautiful this time because it's not raining, and it was a beautiful day today, and you can actually walk up this rock with the stairs that are provided for it. So, gonna try it out and see how it is. The view must be magnificent from up there. I'm really excited and it's another completely free activity you can do, just like all the hikes that we did today, which is awesome. There's so many things that you can do in New Zealand for free and it doesn't have to cost any money at all because they have a lot of hiking trails, they have a lot of different nature walks and everything. It's beautiful, I'll be exploring them all, so I'll keep you guys updated on everything. First foot of stairs to get up is a little bit dangerous but the second set of stairs i just took a shot of look a little bit more stable Whew. yeah more stable just a little bit steep so going up the rock mm -hmm. 